Coco with the big one. What a clash this one should be. <laughs> Dave Fitzfinley from Tariq Fergus near Belfast, along with, of course, his mentor, Paula, Princess Paula. A tremendous weight advantage. Two stone plus over his opponent here this afternoon. In the shape of Johnny Saints. Johnny Saints, here he comes from Blackpool. Just 11 stone two. And he will give Dave Finley something to think about, even though he's giving away two stone. Already a slight argument between Paula and uh, Dave Finley's op opponent, of course, as usual. John Harris. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we now come to a special catchweight challenge match. The match is made over eight rounds of three minutes each and will be decided by the best two out of three pinfalls or submissions or the one knockout. I introduce to you, coming from the red corner over here on my left, presented, of course, by the beautiful Princess Paula. And also from the red corner, Dave Fit Finlay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, I seem to have made a mistake of not telling you that we have the British heavy middleweight champion, Dave Fitzgerald. And now, from the blue corner, I don't think I need to say more than just two words. Johnny Sainz! Yes, John Harris, that's all you need to say. And your referee for this contest, Mr. Bob Collins. Johnny Sainz. Any Greco fan all over the country and most of all over the world knows this man on the left, Johnny Sainz. The question is whether he can give away two stone to his opponent here today, Dave Fett Finley. The man who just has just said <laughs> that he intends to eat him for breakfast. Well, I think Johnny might have something to say about that. Bob Collins takes charge of this one. Bob Collins from Kentish Town. Second leg, round one. And here we finally go for round one of eight three-minute rounds, two falls to the side in this catchweight special. Saints with his tremendous speed and agility surely is going to worry this heavier man in Belfast. <laughs> Finley with the first attack, side headlock. <laughs> hair getting longer every time we see him. Great fine and their arm lever. Just a couple of minutes left in this first round. Don't forget that the uh, rounds are only three minutes in this case. Nice, <laughs> there's a <laughs> That's the sort of thing that Finley's got to contend with. Even when he's sure of something, he's no longer sure of it. Jones 
instructions from Paula. in the double wrist lock position. Three to four leg lock, but Johnny Saint decided he didn't want one. <laughs> so he's out the other side of the ring. Thirty seconds to go. Double finger into lock. Naturally, Finley's going to have the advantage here. It's the most powerful of the two. More powerful of the two. <laughs> Just five seconds. <laughs> well, Bob Collins is going to have a little problem here, no doubt. He's already having it with Finley's corner. Even Paula is trying to persuade the referee to do something about it. He's got to go almost now. Second round two. Round two. Finley says, stay back. Don't know what Finley's complaining about. Something about the boots, I think. Johnny Saints wrestling boots, maybe. There's no, there's no loose, there's no loose lace or anything, anything wrong at all, as far as we can see from here. favorite of Finley's chicken wing and he's trying to close those hands. Admittedly, if he does close them, then Johnny Saint will probably be unable to resist the submission. But will he close them? Saint is so quick. Saint agreed to the finger lock, finger lock with his left hand and surprised the back. Yes. Left foot caught him. In the hook half Nelson throw. And the fingers going straight back under the canvas. Oh. Needs a little attention. Whatever Finley can dish out, he's going to get it back from Sabre, all right? Just one minute to go, round two. Staying back a bit now, isn't he? seconds to go. Interesting to see whether Saint gets out of this. And he doesn't know where it may come from. And he just knows it's going to come. There it is. <laughs> oh, yes. Beautiful stuff. Shades of George Kidd there. Right on the bell. Just after the bell, he apologized. But of course, 
Finley's going to make something of it. <clears throat> Paula will certainly make something of it. <laughs> Johnny Saint was halfway through the move when the bell went. We've got to go again almost now. So often happens that a wrestler is halfway through a move and the bell goes and there's a cruise of delivering it out to the bell. Even Finley telling Paula to get out of the ring now. He's apologized about three times already. He was halfway through the move and he couldn't stop. Now a punch right to the stomach. We all saw it. You all saw it at home. But referee only suspicious of it. Can he get him all the way? Not quite. And this punch to the head there. Johnny Stone taking punches all over the place now. And he gets a public warning for that one now. Bob Collins explained that he knows perfectly well what for, but I'll tell you this in case you forgot. Punch to the head and to the stomach. That was the lap attack. Great fingers, maybe. Still the referee suspicious of that. Certainly wasn't a chop. Taking him all the way, that's his favorite moves. Yeah, yeah, it's all the way back. And he could get the first four here. Yes, nearly always does. Ladies and gentlemen, it's round three, and the opening fall for this contest to the red corner, Fit Finley. Well, he gets the first fall all right, but he's weakened his man a little bit too much before, illegally. That's what Johnny Saints can tell me about. Get out of it! Second way, round four. The timekeeper calls for seconds out of the ring, and Paula hasn't gone yet. get on with this fourth round. Remember that Finley in the tights and the shamrocks on the front row on the left, leading Johnny Saint by one fall and ill as we start round four. Well, we should be starting round four. Continue. All part of the same moves as Bob Collins. Surprises me.
of colors getting very very excited about this but he's not getting his point over and that's nice, nice turn Saints. good follow-up that's a better drop kick though that's high but it works he's got over the top holding cross cross and it's lovely lovely one minute 45 seconds into round four the equalizing call johnny set Oh no, that's round four, and it's an equalizer that goes to Johnny Sane. All done by speed, as we'll see now in a minute. Great speed as Johnny came off there. The side there. Missed completely. Johnny waiting for him to miss. And before he gets to the ropes, he's got that folding press on. Really a great one. Five. Four rounds to go to get a decider here. One fall each now. One public warning against Dave Finley. Johnny can hardly wait to get on with round five. Nice back roll right off the top. Now a beautiful drop there. Left foot landing right on the jaw there. Beauty. Very good drop. Flying tackle, and that's from Saint Hold it. This is the one he wants. Now, just hasn't got quite got the weight for that cross pass. Not, not unless he grabs his opponent's leg and tries to pull it back to hold the balance. Right. Double wrist lock is on the back hammer by Finley. And a punch right to the stomach. Very, very obvious to all of us and to the cameras, but not unfortunately to Bob Collins, who was the other side. Just a minute to go, round five. Top rope, fortunately for him, who landed right on top of our number three here. She's now shooting. 25 seconds to go. Another flying tackle by Johnny Sane. Can he hold this time? No, dragged off. Almost on the bell now, round five. Johnny Saint from Failsworth Manchester originally now based in Blackpool. And he's having an extra round that he didn't expect here. Public warning for somebody. Round six. Ladies and gentlemen, at the beginning of the round six, Superman Fit Finley receives his second and final public warning.
Sonesh-Lee. It's an unlucky finish to Johnny Saint there, but it's just a question of how legally it was put on. It's very, very quick indeed. Let's see what John Harris said. Ladies and gentlemen, that was indeed the winning fall, a submission, and the match goes to Fit Finlay. You listen to me, Princess Paula keeps me training. I eat British wrestlers, I eat British wrestlers, and I spit them out. Well, he's beaten the man down, two strong rider than himself in the shape of Johnny Shanks. If he'd done it fairly, I wouldn't mind. Now, next Saturday, we will be on the air at our new regular time.